There is a huge amount of money around the world right now looking for exposure to Amazon. Right now, what do I mean by that? Everybody on planet Earth, all the big money, institutional money, entrepreneurs, investors, everybody has eyes on it because it's one of the most valuable companies in the world. It's one of the most incredible success stories to ever come across um, the face of the business world. The richest man ever to live is currently Jeff Bezos, may soon be overtaken by um, Elon Musk if things keep going the way they are over there. But if you want exposure to Amazon, you could buy the Amazon stock. Right now, when I started on Amazon in 2011 or 12, um, Amazon was on track. I remember they were doing, was it, I think, I remember in 2015, I think it was, they were on track to do a billion, a hundred billion dollars. And everyone's like, oh my God, they're going to break a hundred billion. Now they're doing over a hundred billion a quarter, which is amazing. Amazon stock, if you look at the chart, has, if I'd invested just in Amazon stock, it'd be a, a whole different story as well. You can invest in software companies, right? Like we've done with Zonguru. You can invest in infrastructure. You could go and set up, for example, a third, a 3PL in China that's manned by English speaking, you know, Australians and Americans. I reckon you'd absolutely cleaned up if somebody went out and set up a, a, a workable solution where sellers from around the world could have their inventory shipped from um, their manufacturer to an, a European, Australian, American owned and controlled warehouse facility in China until they needed it sent over on the boat. Um, I reckon that would be an amazingly successful business if somebody did it. Become, you could become a seller, right? You could become uh, a brand builder, and I'll explain what that is in a minute. Um, you could use, uh, you could create a syndicate. So three or four of you could get together and start building brands together for the sole purpose of actually, or individually, for the sole purpose of identifying a product, um, sourcing a supplier, putting them together into documents and selling them as businesses in a box. Like that's a real way. If you only had $10,000 right now, you could probably go and do that and double your money to 20 and then do two more of those because the appetite, even within our community, of people that would say, if I can just get somebody who's already done the research, already done the branding, already done everything for me and all I have to do is buy the inventory and start, there's a standing market there for it, right? Absolutely there is. So what I'm trying to get your head around here, guys, is starting to think about how do you leverage your intellectual property, what you paid to get from us, into doubling your money. Right now, if you are sitting there tonight as an FBA seller, if, you, if that's what your plan is, and you're going to be an FBA seller, just by going and doing the work, finding a niche, finding a product, finding a supplier, you sit there and you go, okay, I'm now going to buy $10,000. But the thing is this, guys. The minute you order that product and you start making sales, you have, your business is worth more on that day than the cost of that inventory because you've done so much work, right? And at that moment, you've got to always remember, you could at that moment, in fact, sell your business. In fact, you're going to hear this story tomorrow when we bring Angela in, how she sold one of her Amazon businesses really early in the journey. The person buying it got a great deal because they didn't have to go through all of the pain and the heartache and the work of, of finding that stuff which scares the shit out of so many people. But for somebody like Angela, she's a creator. She loves doing that, right? So she might have put, let's say, 30 grand in and sold it for 90. I don't know the numbers. I'm just saying. She might have done that. And then that's a triple, right? And then you take the 90. You go, what am I going to do with the 90? What's the best use of my 90 grand now? How do I turn my 90 into 180? I love thinking about the game of business of double doubles. And you'll hear that term a lot when you listen in tech companies and the people who invest in companies, they're looking for double doubles, putting in their money, double it and double it again by going into different rounds of investment. So if you start looking at your activities today, you are just in the business of multiplying capital, right? That is the name of the game, be all and end all. You have a resource, whether it's a dollar, whether you've got nothing like Sam. Sam goes, what's the best use of my money. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get advice from a multi-millionaire. I'm going to borrow money from my mum and then I'm going to create something so compelling through my creativity and nothing else, I'm going to create value. And this is what they don't teach you in school. They don't teach you to fucking think and to create value out of thin air because you were taught get good grades and get good marks and go and get a job that's reliable. You are not taught that when you work in the world of the infinite, when you work in the world of possibility and you use your brain to imagine ways outside of the box to leverage your brains, your resources, including money, people, network, you are in a completely different sphere, right? The guy I did that property deal with, I put the equity up, he put the idea up, he did the work to improve the value of the thing, but I put up all the money, right? 
He put up the intellectual property and now he has free carry in a, in a multi-million dollar property because he brought the deal to me. I think he's smarter than me. He is, right? Because he didn't put anything out. He created the opportunity. And there is so much money there when you start to realize that what you are doing, guys, you paid me three grand for a course. You implement that knowledge and you turn whatever, you, you couple the knowledge with the action and the intellectual property and you've already got your 10 grand of inventory. Somebody would take it off you tomorrow for 20 grand because you've done all that other work. You could exit right then and there if you wanted to, right? Or you consciously go, no. Okay, now my asset's worth 20. I'm gonna see if I can double it to 40. And then you just focus on the next milestone of going to 40. Remember, you only have to double seven times from 10 grand and you're now a e-commerce millionaire. But this framework will help you focus on the next move. How do you go from 10 to 20, from 20 to 40, from 40 to 80, from 80 to 160, from 160 to 320, etc. From 320 to 640, from 640 to 1.28. That is the game. That is the whole game. This is just a vehicle. Don't let yourself get caught up in the distraction. If you enjoyed that video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the little bell that's somewhere on the screen here so that you get instantly notified when we drop new videos. Thanks for watching, subscribe and hit the bell.